Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zillia. In the last episode, we went here to Felgana Mines, and we went through the entirety of the mine shaft here to find a spirit fossil for Mila to help save her legs and kind of respect, uh, repair the Asperixis. Uh, in the last episode, I had to cut it off a little short uh, because my computer kind of on me. But I just wanted to make sure with you guys, because I'm doing this post-com now, kind of got a new recording set, set up for this LP. But um, I did increase my Lillium Orb here for both Jude and Leia. They both went up two levels during the, the course of the last episode. So I kind of wanted to show that I did, in fact, use the Lillium Orb. That's kind of a little portion that got cut out. But in today's episode, we're going to go in deeper into the mine shaft here. So without further ado, let's go on to the shaft interior four. Wow. Look at this place. It's surreal. You hear that? All the sounds. They keep getting louder and softer. Watch yourselves. It's so pretty. Watch out! Get back, Leia! Huh? Jude? Is that the spirit fossil? Uh, Leia, don't get too close. Don't worry, Jude. I'll get that fossil. Watch this. Now, geez, why is this thing so darn big? It must be using the spirit fossil as a source of energy. I can't think of any other explanation. Let's just focus on beating it. And now we are fighting off the boss of Felgana Mine. His name is Hammerzam. This is a giganto creature of the gigantic Earth Dweller monsters. Uh, as you guys can see, he doesn't have that much HP. He's only got 9,000, which is really surprising because he's just like, why doesn't this guy have a lot more HP than normal? Uh, for this fight, you just practically just want to wail on him. This guy doesn't have any weaknesses. Uh, what I found out that's really good against him is using the aqua sweep move will in fact cause stun and it will cause him to fall down and kind of get stunned for like a grand total of one second but that'll allow you to do some sort of damage on here now he will start burrowing into the ground and start leaping out like he did just did just there if you if you see him do that get away from him use jude's uh pivot snap in order to get away from it but that's hammer zam Careful! Wait! Come on! The hard part's over! Yes! We did it! Look out! You're going to pay for that. Get away from them, you beast! And yes, um, before we do that, quick preparation screen pops up just now. Yes, Mila is now able to be used because we are not done with this boss fight. With this, it has two phases to it. So as of right now, that was the first easy phase, as you guys can see. You're probably wondering. Well, um, why is it he only has 9,000 HP? Well, that's because of that. Uh, the first phase, you only fight as Jude and Leia. Second fight, you actually have Mila with you. And trust me, that boss fight is a lot more harder now. But as of right now, you can actually prepare Mila. That's actually what I'm doing with the Lily Morb and everything. I'm also going to be doing a little bit more than just the Lily Morb. I'm only going to be doing some equipment management and so I'm just kind of wanting to use this time to explain s some things. Now, 
I had a lot of issues with computer. Like, this computer I had, I've had so many issues with it. And especially with trying to record, it's become really hard for me to do so. So as of right now, this LP is going to be all post-commentary. I kind of ultimately decided to do this because, well, I figured it would be a little bit easier for me. Because, um, as of right now, as of this video, I did get a new job. So if everybody was wanting to know about that, and everybody wants to, to know about that, I am am working a new job now. So as of right now, I'm working towards a new computer. So hopefully we can... Um, get back to doing live commentary portion but as of right now until I get a new computer this LP is going to be in post commentary but I, as of right now I'm kind of distributing my Lillium orbs here to kind of see how about if I have that I'm also equipping skills because we need to do that we need to equip some skills that <laughs> Mila has just got she's got a bunch of SP so uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing and plus I figured another reason why I've decided to do this is I've noticed that I've had a better time commentating whenever I'm doing post commentary on most of my videos, so that might be the format from now on. I hope that is fine with you guys. I know I might do live commentary for a lot of uh, other videos, but especially RPGs like this, I might do this post commentary from now on. But there you go, we're equipping Mila with more stuff. Uh, I'm going to actually equip these, I have a better sword for her. I did get a Harpy's Edge while off screen, so there we go. Now we have a better sword for her. So now, let's go ahead and fight. Hammer Zam Part 2. Now, this fight right here, as you guys can see, he's got a lot more HP. He's got 22,000 this time. So, he's a lot more meaner. He doesn't have weaknesses either. I don't know if I mentioned that. Now, this song that actually is playing right now, this is a special theme from this game. It's called Believe in Myself. Or I think it's called Believe in Believe in Oneself or Believe in Me. I think that's the name of the track. But this track plays at the end of chapter. This is only plays during chapter in bosses. Boss fights. That means we are at the this is the chapter end uh, the boss the chapter end boss of chapter one, I should say. So, as soon as we beat this, we will be Chapter 1 of Tales of Zillia. I know that kind of seems like, holy crap, you've been playing a long time for just Chapter 1. Yeah, there's four chapters in this game, if you're wanting to know. Um, pretty much, this guy is the same fight as he did a couple of seconds ago. So, I wouldn't worry too much for if he's got, oh, new strategies and all that other stuff. No, it's the same boss fight. It's just he's got a little bit more HP than normal. So... Just use the use the abilities that I did um, I mentioned as before in the first fight. Uh, one thing I failed to mention I didn't show off yet. I'm gonna show this off in the next episode. Leia, if you play as Leia, she's got an ability called Elongated Staff. You probably saw her staff glow a couple times, but her staff it's just it acts just like Jude's pivot. If you do a, a sidestep right when the enemy is about ready to attack you. Leia's staff, he gets elongated. That means it glows, it glows, and it gets really long. So you'll be able to hit enemies a little bit um, farther away, essentially, for a time period. That's pretty much what elongated staff does. It's like an extended staff, that's it. But that's her ability if you play as her. But as of right now, the boss is kind of getting beaten the crud out of because he is going to stop hurting our friends essentially <laughs> um but yeah Mila's now able to walk thanks to the spirit fossil from the hammerzan's head here and we're able to fix the asperixis to fix itself to the point where now she can walk now so Mila can now continue her mission essentially and Amrazam's almost dead. We just gotta beat him up a little bit more. And there we go. We did it. Thank goodness you showed up, Mila. But there we go. We also got a quick ring from that. Um, I hadn't really seen what a quick ring does, but... You were able to use the Asperixis. Whoa. 
goodness. This is some device you humans have come up with. How bad's the pain? <laughs> well, it's not worse than I imagined, but it's considerable. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful. But you retrieved the spirit fossil for me. If anything, I'm in your debt. Thanks. Let's get back to town. I'll get the wheelchair. You look like you want to say something. You can tell me. Jude can't hear you. The thing is, when Jude learned that the Asperixis would cause you incredible agony, I thought for sure he'd call off the procedure, even though it could help you. Jude knows that there is something I must do. Yeah, but still, the old Jude would never do that. Sounds like you know why he is the way he is. Uh... Ever since we arrived here, you've been doing your best to avoid giving him opportunities to step in and help. So, you noticed. Jude was always home alone when he was little. His parents do seem preoccupied with work. Yeah. I don't think Jude ever realized it himself, but... I think he was really lonely. I imagine so. But what does that have to do with how Jude is now? I think he's just eager to get involved with other people somehow. I get it. He wants to feel needed. That's why he's so helpful. Exactly. He would never do anything that might push people away. But the Jude who came back with you isn't quite the same Jude who left. I figured that out from watching you. You're the one who changed him. I haven't done anything. Jude made his own choices. Good. Still in one piece. Even with the Asperixis, Mila won't be able to complete her mission without someone's help. And that means... I know what I have to do. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm at my limit. Mila! Don't worry. She just passed out. I don't mind pushing the wheelchair on the way back. Uh, okay. Why the sudden burst of compassion? Why? Is there anything wrong with it? Well, no. Just unexpected, I guess. What can I say? I'm feeling really inspired by your friend here. And now with that, Mila can't fight with us again. <laughs> that was only temporary, but we actually got a bunch of titles, and for just for beating that boss. Now, one thing I have to mention is we did get a, a title called, I think it's called Scholar of Rize Maxia. Now, what that means is, if you didn't get a trophy, you would have gotten a trophy right now, essentially. You cleared Chapter 1 of Tales of Zillia. That's what the description of the title is in the of Scholar of Rize Max here. Like I said, there are actually it's three and a half. There's three and a half chapters in this entire game. So we have made I wanna say about thirty percent progress in this LP so far. So if you're wanting to know how long it is, that's kinda of how it is. Yeah, I, I determine it based on the fact of chapters. Now I have to say this the next couple chapters aren't as long as this one. I mean, they're considerable length, but they're not, you know, that long. But anyways, we're going back to La Ronde. Mila, you're awake! Thank goodness. Jude... Are you okay? Is anything broken? You went to the mine, didn't you? Oh, why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry, Mom. Jude! Honey, don't! What if something had happened to the girls? Did you think it all before charging off? I did whatever I could do to help. I tried, unlike you, Dad. Why, you little... <laughs> Please don't be so hard on him. He did well accomplishing his task. You're on your feet. 
thanks to these two. Try not to overdo it, Nell. Hurry up and get back into the chair. Right. Darling. Hmm. Leia, take her to the clinic at once. Yes, Doctor. Well, you know what, Mila? You're gonna need some serious physical therapy. Right. Sorry to be a burden, Leia. Hey, no worries. That's my job. Jude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But anyways, we're back here in the Ronde, and as you can see, Jude's parents weren't too happy with Jude and Leia doing what they did, but... Anyways, uh, this is Leia's mother. <laughs> She's not happy either. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, anyways, I'm going back into the inn because we can go and turn in that quest right now. And this is G uh, Leia's father, if you, who I'm talking to right now. She's kind, or he's kind of um, wondering where Leia went to. But anyways, let's go into that room and hand over that quest that we did in the last episode. So, he says, Exquisite! This will make a fine addition to my collection. Oh, sweet minerals, how I love you. Man, you got a sick obsession with minerals, man. But anyways, he gave us, uh, we gave him a block of quartz, and he gave us, uh, a accessory, and he gave us some money, too. So, now that we've gotten that subquest out of the way, we're pretty much done with all the, so we've done all the subquests in Chapter 1 so far, so we're doing good progress on this LP so far. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk to Jude's mother here, and we'll go ahead and rest here for the night. The seasonal winds are kicking in. Time sure flies, but I still can't believe Mila's being discharged today. I bet the doc was floored by her rapid recovery. Heck if I know. Dad and I barely talk. Mila will be along as soon as she's ready. Care to explain this? What's that? A wanted poster? From honor student to fugitive, huh? It's not like it affects you. What did you do? The poster makes it sound like you stole something. Stole? That thing Mila gave to Ivor. Was that it? Speak properly, young man. Uh, forget it. So now what? You gonna yell at Mila for corrupting me? You haven't exactly been nice to her. Jude, Jude. You're so naive. You still don't know what she is. She's finally out. Mila! I'm fine. Ah, I've missed the fresh air. How about taking a little walk? Good idea. Let's stroll to the Sea Haven. We'll take it slow. She never stops moving forward under her own power, no matter what happens. Do you know why, Jude?
what's this? No. Why now, after all this time? And now, this after three weeks... <laughs> Let's stop and eat something soon. Didn't we just eat? Yes, he just ate. <laughs> I'm sure you guys just ate. Anyways, after three weeks, uh, the, the game has advanced three weeks, essentially, because um, Mila was under physical treatment in order to get her back on her feet. Granted, she's not doing, you know, super swell with with the legs, but she's, she's walking now. So we have pretty much saved... Uh, Mila's feet essentially so now she can walk again now she's doing fine now she can continue her mission on stopping the Spyrex but anyways we need to go to the uh, sea haven here destroy a secret Rashigal military weapon. It uses something called a Spyrex. She swears it's her mission to save the world from those things. A Spyrex. Huh? Dude, buddy, super pal, slap me some face! <laughs> what in the world? Elise, what are you doing here? Well, we came to see you. We wanted to congratulate you on your recovery. But we never expected a miracle. Nice to see you on your feet. It's all thanks to Jude and Leia. Rowan! It has been a while, Jude. And a pleasure to meet you, young lady. My name is Rowan. Oh, uh... Hello. So this is the device responsible for your miraculous recovery. An Asperixis, you call it? Fascinating. Will you be sticking around for a while? Lady Drissel insisted that I take a vacation, and Miss Elise was most persistent in her desire to see Mila. Don't blame us, butler! You're the one who's been getting sloppy on the job lately! That's not like you. It's true. This old butler has been quite distracted as of late. Indeed, one concern in particular is at the forefront of my mind. I see. I wish we had more time to listen to the whole story, but... Mila and I are planning to leave Laronde as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow. I don't remember saying that. I know you well enough by now. <sighs> but you are still recovering. What could be so important in Fenmont that you must leave at once? A weapon they call the Lance of Kresnik. As long as it endures, mankind and spirit kind are doomed to extinction. Who built it? The King of Rashigal? You cannot reach Fenmont without once again heading for Fort Gondala. Things ended badly for you the last time you visited that place, if you'll recall. Are you not afraid? No. I fear nothing in this world. Except that one day, I may lose the willpower to complete my mission. Why is this mission so gosh darn important to you? Because I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect this world. Maxwell, you say? The spirit? Mila's a spirit? Is it true? What? But that doesn't matter, does it? It's not gonna change who we know her as.
Come on, everyone. No use standing around talking. Let's go back inside. Sounds like a plan. You know, and all the times that they traveled with Elise and Rowan, Mila has never once said that she was Maxwell. And that's what's weird about this. It's just like, okay, I am the Lord of Spirits. But um, anyways, we're going to rest here again. It's been a while. Could have been longer. You got my message, right, Doc? She won't wake up, will she? Don't worry. She's worn out from weeks of physical therapy. Therapy, huh? Did you get her to spill the key's location? That's not my job. I'm finished with Exodus. Ouch, that hurts right here, you know. I owe this woman a great debt. Why? Because she turned that pipsqueak son of yours into a man? Watch your mouth. Just tell me what you know and I'll be out of your hair. I'm just the messenger. Ivor. It's possible she gave the key to someone named Ivor. That's all I know. Now, never bother me again. See? That wasn't so hard. Did I really do the right thing? Are you all set? Yeah, believe it or not. To be honest, I'm still in shock that you're leaving. You could have given us a little more warning. Sorry. It's your decision, honey. What about Dad? Still fuming. I see. Well, I'm eager to get going. Shall we be off? Huh? We've still got some time until the boat departs. True. But Elise and Rowan came all the way here to wish me well. It would be rude not to bid them goodbye before leaving. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Anyways, now we have to go to the inn to speak with Rowan and Elise. But um, as you guys can see, we can talk to Jude and Ma Jude's uh, parents here, but... His father's still kind of pissed, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's one thing I, I don't... I mean, like, they develop his father as to be, like, this uncaring person. And you'll see much later that it really isn't that. Um, but anyways, we can go down to the in here, and we'll activate another cutscene. Morning. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Are you certain this is a good idea? Yes. I have a responsibility to my mission. To the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden? You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctagall's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. 
One of my oldest. So that's the source of your concern. Whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Fretting over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now, will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. And this old man is not growing any younger. Does that mean... Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Sorry, Elise. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise, I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherylton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not. Jude, Tipo told you, we're not super friends no more. Anyways, now we've got Rowan and Elise in our party. <laughs> and you'd all know what that means since they all, you know, get on par with the level that you're at. Because this is going to be a common occurrence in the whole game where party members are going to leave and they're going to come back. But when they come back, they're going to be the same level as you. So you're going to have to go and... You know, level distribute their levels again and mess with the with the grid. That's the only little complaint I have about this game. It's just, well, the party members keep coming and going all the time, and it's just like most RPGs I play, um, party members might leave like every now and then, but like this game, it's on a constant basis where party members come and they go and they go, they come and go again, and it's just. That's the only little, little minor complaint I have, it's just, it's that. But, other than that, it doesn't really bother, other, not too many other complaints I have about this game, that's why I like it so much. This is my first Tales game, I did grow my Tales collection a lot since I got this game. I got the sequel, I got Symphonia Chronicles, I got Vesperia on 360, I even got, went out of the way and bought Abyss on 3DS, and... As of right now, before I get a PlayStation Vita, I'll be getting um, Tales of Hearts R, so that'll be a nice thing. But as you guys can see, you can you can kind of see all the abilities that I'm I'm unlocking. Um, most of them are kind of repeats as before, but other than that, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just killing time, kind of you know leveling up my characters. I'm always trying to make uh, SP a priority whenever it comes to going to a new area on the grid is I want to kind of make SP a priority because I kind of want to get more skill points in order to put more skills on my characters that way they can be more efficient in battle so like I like here I went directly to the area that had the SP in it so that's kind of how I go when I level up characters and stuff like that because SP is important you wouldn't think that SP would be Oh, it's not that not that great, but it really does help in battle. SP does help. So whenever you get a um, mass amount of SP, you should probably go and spend it. Um, but pretty much that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Now we've kind of leveled up everybody. Let's go ahead and uh, distribute my skills here. Um, I'm going to put on Conductor, which uh, lasts the duration of our turn tuning. And I put on all these other ones here. And can kind of see what they do here. But they do kind of help, um, you know, improve the fighter and battle. So, like, especially, like, skills like Assault. 
Assault does help because then you'll get an extra attack to put on uh, whenever you just do your regular X attack. You'll get to like vary up long stream combos that way. And sometimes it does help with skills like um, like being able to run away, level restore whenever you gain a level, you gain HP and all that other jazz. But as you guys can see, we did get a couple titles out of the deal because, well, Elise and Rowan did get a certain level. Well, hello there. Good day, Master Sonia. Is Leia around? No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. She'll be home before dinner? She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's gonna get so depressed again with you gone. And then you'll see her getting depressed, and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? I feel sorry for the poor woman who stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and daughter. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. Anyways, that was a sub event. And this one is very admissible. You have to do it at this time. If you leave before you activate that sub, sub event, it does disappear. So make sure you grab that before you leave Laurent. I mean, it's kind of hard to miss, though. Um, there's going to be one more. And it's in here in the clinic. We kind of want to go into the archives. And that's not the archives. I completely forgot about that. I did make a mistake in the recording. Um, anyways, we need to go into the archives here. Medicine, biology, history, literature. There are some fascinating books here. Never realized you like to read so much. Humans like to record all sorts of things. About the world, about others about themselves there's no better way to learn about the human realm so it's your main source of information i always thought that the lord of spirits had the power to just know everything the concept of an omniscient deity is a common notion humans long for beings of absolute power so much so that at times they'll even sacrifice their lives for the mere idea of one never mind that humans only imagined such perfect beings to make up for their own imperfections you may be right. At least, that's what I read in a book. Now, this handwritten book looks very intriguing. Jude Mathis, Developmental Diary. Wait, what? Hmm. For some reason, it's been placed right next to Bedwetting Causes and Cures. C come on, Mila. We don't have time for reading. We've got a world to save. <laughs> Jude didn't want Mila to look at that. <laughs> Don't blame him. Anyways, that's uh, that event is also missable if you leave Ron before you before you go, or if you leave Ron before doing that. Yeah, it's missable. But anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. So I will see you guys next episode of Let's Play Tales of Zillia.